Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and I am here today with a Dollar Tree haul. Specifically, this one is in the series that I did last fall, I think, where each of my kids got to go and pick out $20 worth of items and then we got to see what a kid that age would like. And we are finally getting to the last one which is my soon to be senior in high school, what she picked out. So we are on video number six in a row of no Timu. We're going through withdrawal, but good news is that I did get a Timu package in the mail today. I have filmed a video in the same outfit already. I have the, reason, the only reason why you're seeing this one first is because the way the influencer program works with Timu now, you're supposed to kind of get your videos pre-approved. And so I've submitted that one off to get pre-approved. We'll see how quickly it takes them to do that. If they aren't quick about it, then that video is going to go live tomorrow regardless. So hopefully they will review it quickly and then we'll be back in the land of Timu, which I know most of us prefer to be, but we do like an occasional Dollar Tree haul thrown in there. So because this is the first one you're going to see, let me talk about what I'm wearing, but I probably, I think I did talk a little bit about this in that video too. So just ignore the uh, du duplicus, no. Ignore the fact that I'm going to repeat myself in that video and I will just try not to say big words on this on this episode I'm gonna get a little hydration I'm gonna talk about this again in that Timu video. So if you're interested in this pay attention to that But Okay, so let's so I am wearing my rose red outfit today. This is a, a Timu shirt Timu sweater, a Timu necklace that you can't really see, my Timu earrings, my my pair eyewear glasses. Now this, these are, I'll take them off here in a second, but these are my, if you haven't watched my pair eyewear video, which was free advertising for them, <laughs> check that out. And it aired last week, I believe. But anyway, I bought this specific frame to go with this outfit. So this is my, it's from the Star Wars collection and it is the Princess Leia design. But I love that. Doesn't that look great? Like <laughs> I wore this, I wore this to work last week. So it's been a week since I filmed the last videos because I really only have time to film on the weekends. So I wore this outfit to work at, at some point during the week. And I think it was, we had a shrimp boil at work, which I'm not a big fan of that, but that was better. It was supposed to be a crawdad boil or a crawfish boil, but I guess the crawfish in Louisiana this year aren't, aren't doing so hot. So we didn't have that. We just had shrimp, but uh, so we had a bunch of people in the office that I don't normally get to see. So I was wearing this that day and, and one of my friends and she's like, Oh, are those those pair eye <laughs> pair glasses or those magnetic ones? I'm like, yes, they are. So yeah, I really like, I like this combination here. I also wanted to talk about this because the last video that aired on this channel was me doing a review of nail reserve gel nail polish. So that video, while it just aired yesterday, I actually filmed a week ago today. So look how well they have held up. Now, when I did my, rev my first review for nail review, I, in that one, I got a bunch of different colors and I, because I was wanting to show off all the colors, I did each of my nails like a different color in that video. And because of that, I didn't really want to go out in public like that. So I peeled those off like within a day, but these have been fantastic and I'm not even a professional. So 
if I were to like put my fingers in my hair right now, you know, now that it's growing out a little bit, there might be a few places that might catch because I do tend to get a little bit of the polish on my fingers, but for the most part, they still look fantastic, or at least I think they still look fantastic. And I did do my toes also, and those have held up. And actually I've been taking a lot of baths this past week and they've held up really well. Now, I will say when I painted my toes, I was super lazy and I did not remove the traditional nail polish that I had on them at the time. Granted, a lot of it had worn off and, and stuff. I didn't, I didn't remove any of that before I, before I put this stuff on there and they have held up fantastic. Now we leave for vacation tomorrow, well my tomorrow, and we are gonna be gone for almost a week and we I've talked about this in some other videos but we found a place because we didn't have a lot of money to plan a lot of activities so we found a place that had has a heated pool so we'll have to see these probably won't last too long or at least the toes probably won't last too much longer given that but yeah I this a week for me is really good for this kind of thing because I tend to want to start to fidget and peel them off but I mean they haven't chipped or anything so so yeah so if if you were interested if you were interested in gel nails you might check out that video or, or if nothing else check out the description because it's got the links and the discount codes and stuff I also noticed I finally have lost some weight in my fingers because my my rings or at least this, this finger, <laughs> this single finger has lost some weight. So hopefully, I think I've got in some, some future, I haven't hauled one yet, but I think in my uh, Timu stuff that arrived today, that there might be a, some replacements on this so that I can, this is a size eight and it's finally, I mean, it, it catches a little bit, but yeah, it's getting loose. This one, not so much, but that's okay because this ring only comes in one size, so I don't want to lose weight in this finger. All right, so let's get on with the Dollar Tree haul. Now, she was allowed to pick out 16 items because once you add in the dollar twenty-five, that comes to twenty twenty dollars. So that's that was what her goal was, and I guess we'll just see what she picked out. So first off, she got some flip flops, most likely in anticipation of swimming this next week. But they have a bunch of flip flops at the Dollar Tree. Now I, for one, don't like the flip flops at the Dollar Tree because these are super hard and I can feel them, especially these ones down here. I can, my foot can feel it and it's, it, it needs more padding around these, I think. So I, for one, do not like the flip flops at the Dollar Tree, but these are, this is a cute pair and they have lots of cute, cute pairs. And my guess is that the ones at Walmart that are usually in the big bin, although those are probably sold out, you probably have to get those in March, <laughs> but those most likely are kind of the same situation, but they don't have the, all the cool designs. There's some more plain colored and Old Navy. Theirs are probably obviously a better quality, but yeah, so these, and it looks like she got size medium, seven, eight, which is the size I would get also. And then this is how the back looks. So some people wouldn't be bothered at all by these things like I am, especially kids. Kids, kids don't care or notice that kind of thing. They're not sensitive. All right, next got some chili lime snack mix. This looks really good. 
So this is spicy and tangy honey lime chili pepper. And I'm going to have to reverse this video. I've got a Dollar Tree sign up here that I got last year, I believe, but I can reverse the video on this device, but only if for the front camera, not, not for when it's facing this way, which is kind of annoying. So it takes a little while to reverse the video too. But anyway, so chili honey roasted sesame chips. Oh, I love sesame chips. And there's corn sticks in here and crunchy corn and corn jacks. So we've got to go to the Dollar Tree tonight to, I want to get some of those mesh laundry bags to kind of organize the clothes that we're taking for vacation. And then we'll probably pick up some car snacks like this because they are great for that. Okay, so she got a new to her vehicle this past week. We were able to, or she was able, she bought it from my parents. They had a van that we were borrowing during our van fiasco. We did get our van back this past week with its brand new engine and everything. And that new engine comes with a three year, 100,000 mile warranty on it. So if this craziness happens again, hopefully it happens in that kind of time frame. I don't know. But anyway, we'd been borrowing my parents' van during that, and they don't, they only my dad drives, so they don't need two vehicles. So we've been trying to work, work it out to, so that it's the easiest on my mom for when we would kind of make that transaction. And we were finally able to do that last Monday for us. Well, that's Monday for everybody. That was last Monday for everybody. And um, so my daughter bought it. And so now she's, she got this to clean it, to keep in it. She liked this one because the handle folds, so it'll be easy to stuff it somewhere in there. But just, you know, really good at picking up. There's a, it's just dusty in the car. Any car gets pretty dusty pretty easily. So that's why she picked that out. She's been crocheting and I'm going to be showing some of her crochet work on this channel at some point because she wants me to list it in my Etsy shop. But I told her I wanted to wait till we got back from vacation since my Etsy shop is on vacation right now while we are on vacation. And so there's not gonna be any giveaways in these videos for this time while we're gone since I don't wanna get even more behind than I am. Although if you're somebody that already won one of my recent giveaways, those have all gone out in the mail, thankfully, finally. All right, next, she got this sushi USB-C cord to go in the van, but she was thinking that this is what would work for her phone, but we have iPhones and the version of iPhone we have still uses lightning. I don't know, do the newest ones have they converted to USB-C? I know tablets have, but our phones are still lightning. So I don't know where she'll use this. I mean, she can use this for something else, but that was originally why she got it. And orange is her favorite color. So. Huh. And then she got some Pocky sticks. These are great. It's kind of like a shortbread kind of well, it's a biscuit stick that they, this one is covered in chocolate. I love the matcha ones that are green that have the matcha chocolate on the outside of them. But these are great. There's a, a, a bunch of these sticks in there, so they make a great snack. And if you're curious, there's 200 calories in this whole box. And... 26 carbs. Okay, I need a drink. Okay, so I'm going to repeat myself tomorrow when you see the Timu video. 
but this is that Timu mug that you get to put your fast food cups in and it keeps it insulated and cold and so this I just put water in this but I got to try this yesterday for the first time because my daughter went and picked up some donuts from Dunkin Donuts and I got a lemonade from there put it in here and the ice stayed icy all day long literally I think at least 12 hours because I didn't go to bed until 3 15 in the morning and there was still ice in there at that time but this one also comes with this so if you get a smaller size drink you put this around the edge and then this will hold your smaller one in while still keeping it cool so this has been a great it's kind of bulky to hold but you know how those fast food things are they sweat and they it's like they're such a mess and unless they're the styrofoam ones that kill the environment they they don't stay cold for very long especially this time of year so that's been a, that was a great purchase all right next <sighs> she got some toothbrushes she likes to use she likes to switch out her toothbrushes every time she gets a new toothpaste so some people only switch them out like every time they go to the dentist but she's a little bit more frequent than that and she had braces and the braces have finally come off so she's trying to take really good care of her teeth and these came with caps for traveling so there's that and she did not get anything in the plus side section or now Dollar Tree has so many things now that are weird prices especially in their food and drink section uh, it, like at the refrigerated section, I guess is what I mean, in the front where they have the drinks and stuff. So you got to kind of watch now to see what the prices are. But all of these were regular $1.25. All right, because she crochets, she got two of these. These are these really nice, super soft chenille. And she likes to crochet with this kind of stuff. I don't know how many different colors they have there but she picked out these two and then okay she got several several of these okay my guess is that maybe she is going to cross stitch her name so she got even though these all have A's on them, they have the pattern for all the letters inside. So she got, some of them are, well, this one's black. And then like this coral pinky color. And then another one of those and then two more black. So I guess she's gonna go black, pink, black, pink, black. And they come with the plastic design base, a plastic needle, instructions, it says instruction sheet A to L, which is literally what it says here. So do you guys think, oh, okay. She got one that was M through Z. I was like, shoot. But um, yeah, so she's taken care of. If she's doing her name, then she only needs one of this one anyway. Okay, so, and then it comes with three threads. But, you know, these are tiny. So my guess is that there's these three colors of thread. So five of those. I'm out of space, you guys. Just put that there, I guess. Sour Dudes, Sour Mini Belts. So these are rainbow berry flavor made with real fruit juice. And Sour Dudes are a delicious sour candy treat. Bursts of sour, splashes of sweet, 
eat a few and please repeat. I didn't know I was reading a poem. Our sour dudes are made with the finest ingredients. Ingredients? Sugar. <laughs> uh, and a few other things. They do contain wheat, though. Wheat flour. So there are five servings in this bag. About eight pieces per serving for 105 calories and 17 grams of sugar. But you know kids. And some adults. <laughs> All right, then we got some Trident original flavor. Huh. What is original flavor? I'm trying to tell if that's a mint leaf, but it seems like they would say mint if it was mint. Hmm. I used to love Trident when I was a kid, but I had to have like two pieces because they're so small. And fruit was my favorite flavor back in the day. Now I know that's been renamed something else, tropical probably or something like that, but but yeah, trident. And then last, so this will be a short video. But last, mamba. We love, love, love mamba. So we I typically get the long strips of mamba, but you can get them like this. And this one comes with strawberry, raspberry, orange, cherry, and lemon. And there's about three and a half servings in this. Five pieces is a serving for 110 calories and 10, 19 grams of sugar. So, and that was it. That was for 16 items. So, so yeah, so we'll have to see what we think. And I, I'm switching gears now. I'm going to talk Timu again. We'll have to see what we think. So this influencer program is new or they're doing it differently. But basically they, I, I, I don't know if, if everybody gets offered the same thing I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. So I don't know if based on how I do this month, I'll get more next month or if it'll just always be the same amount. But this month I can earn so much money in the Timu world if I do five videos, but they want to review the videos first. And that's the part that I'm like, okay. I mean, yes, yeah, some of the money that you can earn doing this has to be funneled back into Timu, but some of it does not. Although I am going to be refunneling it all back into Timu just because I'm hoping that that along with any money from this channel will just be, that's all I'll need to do Timu. And I'll, I can stop putting my own money back into or into it. But, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes and whether or not they really, if they're going to do it this way, they've got to review things quick. But, but yeah, and I want to say thank you. So I can, com I complain on this channel a lot, right? And I'm always talking about behind the scenes, YouTube stuff that most of you probably could care less about. But I was complaining on one. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't, this channel really doesn't make money. Now it did, June just ended not that long ago, and I did make money in a single month for the first time in months since I've been doing this channel. And one of you had said, you know, because I was commenting on a video how it doesn't seem to matter how many subscribers you have or, you know, any of that kind of stuff, even though I do appreciate all of you that subscribe, all of you that watch, all of that. So this is not anything against that, you know. But somebody, one of you wrote on there, if you po just start posting twice a day every day and that'll be all you need to do and I'm like well I can't post twice a day I can barely post once a day but I have been trying to post once a day just to be consistent and that did seem to make a difference so I don't know that seems to be working at the moment so that's what I'm shooting for 
and we'll see. Net, I mean, YouTube will change something and it'll be different, but, and like I said, I don't know why I'm talking to you guys about this. You, ca I'm sure could care less, but I don't know. I don't really have anybody else to talk to about this kind of stuff. I mean, my family could care less about, about that. So I don't know. But anyway, all that to say, I really appreciate all of you that take time out of your day or your night to watch my videos. There are so many people out there that make videos and better quality videos, edited videos, and just some fantastic content out there. So if you have stopped by here and are watching me, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And I don't say that often enough, but thank you. And so I guess we'll just end here, not even a half hour, but We'll be back, hopefully a little bit longer videos once the Timu gets rolling again. But wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day. And until we meet again, eat some sushi. <laughs> All right, bye.